Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here today bringing you a video on how we can clean up your PC and make it generally run overall faster like you just got it out of the box. Now, contrary to belief, some people think that you need to send your computer into some kind of specialist like maybe uh, Geek Squad from Best Buy or your local PC repair shop and spend hundreds of dollars to get it cleaned up and this is absolutely 100% false. Um, all you need is a few tools and a few different methods of kind of cleaning out your computer, getting rid of some of that junk and you can make it run like it's brand new without spending absolutely any money. Um, I did a Mac video on um, how to clean up your Mac and make it run a little faster. If you guys want to check that out, it's going to be somewhere uh, above my head if you guys want to check that out if you are looking to clean up your Mac. But if you are looking to clean up your PC, we are going to get started right now. So as you can see on the left side of my screen, I have a few things that you can go ahead and download. The links are going to be in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and download those or you can search them on Google. I know that some people are kind of hesitant to trust links. Um, but you can go ahead and download these. Um, we are going to be going over a few different methods that we use in um, the shop that I work at and the school that I work at to clean computers and make them run a little faster. Um, so first things first, if your computer is running a little bit fast, more than or a little bit slow, excuse me, uh, more than likely it's a malware or a virus issue, and this can be easily cleaned up with just a few tools. So if you go ahead and click Control Out Delete, and this will bring up a menu and where this uh, click uh, Start Task Manager. And if you go to the processes tab, it will tell you how much memory is being used and you can get some statistics down here as to uh, your CPU usage. Uh, generally, when you have a lot of malware and viruses on here, this will be at the very top because they're running in the background and that's something that you want to eliminate. So if you have a CPU usage around 100%, chances are that you have some malware or viruses or the CPU um, is just a little bit old, you know, with what um, you're trying to use today. Uh, I know that a lot of different programs use a decent amount of memory now and having a bad CPU and kind of an outdated uh, computer can really uh, drive down those speeds. So if you see anything that you might think is abnormal, um, everything here looks fine. Uh, you know, Camtasia is running at a little bit high, but that is a pretty uh, memory demanding uh, application and you know everything else here looks fine Explorer if you guys do not know is the um, like what's responsible for the taskbar so if you ever lost your taskbar um, that is the Explorer um, right there and that is what is basically running everything like um, all this cool stuff and whatnot and I'm not exactly sure um, what a lot of other a lot of stuff this is um, I know I do not need that so that's gonna free up some memory space and I do not need that at the moment so that's gonna clear up some memory space and I don't need this right now so this is gonna clear up some memory space all you have to do is just select what you want to remove and hit M process and then hit M process again and you should be good so I cleared out a decent amount it's still running about 56 percent um, nothing I can really do about that at the moment because I had I do have Camtasia running and that's 173 K so, you know, just go ahead and go to the applications. If you don't need something, I would highly recommend closing it out because that can obviously uh, use up some of your CPU space and memory as well. Um, the process will be down here and you can always look at the processes up here and delete anything you'd like. If you don't really know what you're doing, I would advise you to not really mess with this unless the description is clear. Like this says Camtasia Recorder, which is what I'm using to record this video. So I know exactly what it is. If I were to close it out, I do know exactly what happened. I would be cut off Camtasia and that's it. Um, but unless you're pretty experienced in this I would highly advise you to kind of stay away unless you know exactly what could be uh, doing it or it's running at an insanely high memory uh, sometimes things run at a million K uh, so delete those anything like that uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to our recycle bin if it's full uh, you can just go ahead and hit empty recycle bin I would highly advise you to kind of keep this in line every now and then because if you're tossing things away every now and then it can get a little clustered in there which could be using up a lot of memory as well so recycle bin something that's really easy that you can do now the browsers we're going to worry about later uh, but the first tool that we're going to be doing is CC Cleaner. You can download it in the link below. It's going to be the first link and this is a very common uh, kind of uh, cleaner that a lot of people use that a lot of companies use to clean out their PCs and this is pretty straightforward and it does a really good job and it's free. You can upgrade to the pro version but obviously you can use the 
um, you can use the program for free uh, without having to pay for it. So a lot of this stuff here, you're not really going to know what it is if you're kind of new uh, to computers or you're just you know trying to find a quick video on how to make your PC run a bit faster. But that is why I'm here showing you guys how to do this today. So <clears throat> first thing, uh, excuse me, in this cleaner tab, you're going to see a few different things that will be selected. Now, if you've never used this before, do not worry about the advanced stuff. It's going to just be overwhelming, and I would highly advise you to not. Um, but it does come selected with a few pre um, different things, applications and stuff like that. And we are going to clean those out. Really all you have to do right away is just hit run cleaner. It's going to clear everything out here. It says Internet Explorer. It's going to clean the history, the cookies and stuff like that. You can remove saved passwords from this as well as under applications. You can remove anything you'd like from Google Chrome, Firefox. It's not going to do that for you automatically, but if you'd like to, it is grayed out, but you can just hit it and it will do it for you. Um, it, sometimes there might be a warning just saying you will lose any saved password if you select this option you can hit OK and it will um, of course check that for you uh, but depending on the applications that you have on your PC there will be a few different things like um, multimedia utilities Adobe Air Camtasia Malwarebytes and things like that just go ahead and hit run cleaner in most cases this will help you out a lot so I'm gonna run the cleaner and once this is done, or once you click Run Cleaner, it's going to say this process will permanently delete files from your system. If you do not want to lose anything, make sure you go through and read every single option that you are selecting because there is no way for you to retrieve what you are deleting here. So do not show this, this message again and hit OK. And this will run for a little bit. And through the power of editing, we can go ahead and go to the very end. Only 348 megabytes were removed, but this is a fairly new computer uh, that I got from work. But you know, you can go ahead and see what it all uh, deleted. You can see here temporary files 483 a lot of these can build up after a while if you frequently download things or if you know you're editing videos or whatnot so we can go ahead and go to the next tab which is the registry this is going to delete everything here a lot of it has to do with just saved application so we can go ahead and scan for the issues and Generally, this will find a decent amount, maybe a thousand or more if you've never done this before. But with this being a decently new computer, I'm sure there's only uh, like less than a hundred or something. So only 27. Uh, hit all or hit fix all selected issues, and it will go ahead and do this. If it asks you to back it up, just say no. You don't really need to worry about backing up your registry. It's only deleting things that are temporary. So this is it for CC Cleaner. Pretty nice, easy program to use. Doesn't take too long, depending on you know what your computer has on it, etc. Um, but we are going to move on to the next program, which is Mal where bytes this is going to be the second link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download this I would highly advise it great program to use and we are going to be going over this once it opens and once it is open it will say uh, if you've never done this before a scan has never been run on your system fix now do not do that go to the scan tab up here and select custom scan hit configure scan and just click the Windows OS or it's normally your C um, drive and go ahead and on this left side here click scan for root kits and hit scan now now depending on how much you use your computer uh, depending on the age of it and depending just on how much stuff you kind of download and how much you browse the web this could take a decent amount of time um, I've had computers that scan for three hours so this could be something that you do at night this could be do something while you know you're at work or um, what have you but you can do stuff in the background um, I never do I just kind of leave this run so it can run as fast as it can but uh, once it is done scanning, uh, you can click uh, remove quarantine items and it will get rid of any malware that is on your computer. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go through the full scan just because I'm not sure how long this will take. Um, but that is pretty much it for malware bytes. It's just removing malware and anything like that, viruses uh, from your computer. And like I said, this is all free. So. Uh, the next uh, program we're going to use is Adware Cleaner, and this is just kind of another malware bytes kind of program that can remove out uh, ma uh, that can remove adware from your computer. Now this is pretty simple actually. There's not too much to this program. Uh, once you open it, this little interface is going to come up. Just hit scan. Um, it's going to load databases from different kind of websites to go through uh, some common forms of adware that it might find on your computer, and within no time, it should uh, come to a close and maybe find stuff this uh, is something that we don't run on every computer um, but normally we try to do this as much as possible but this is another great program that you can use to remove some more adware from your computer while this is going if it does find any threats it will tell you right up here in the corner it says found two threats on this computer which is kind of surprising uh, being is that it's brand new almost uh, right out of the box but 
uh, with all the things that people download nowadays, it is very easy and very common for people to uh, acquire some adware or malware uh, just from simple browsing. So don't worry about it. It's probably nothing too major, um, but you know the, it is something that can uh, kind of clog up your computer in the meantime. So make sure that you run all these scans, um, no matter how long they take. It's always better to have a safe computer and a fast computer uh, opposed to something with malware on it. So. Uh, this is actually finding uh, more threats than I thought. It's a very good program, um, but once this is done, we are going to go ahead and uh, remove these. So, And once it's done, it's going to come up primarily in the services folder. If it says found eight threats, you can go ahead and try and find what it is. So in folders, um, I have application data uh, for, uh, let's see here. Registry, just a few keys, and Chrome, uh, search provider, AOL, and ask.com. I'm just going to hit clean. I'm not really worried about any of that. So after that does complete, you will have to do a reboot. It will do it automatically. Uh, when it does reboot, it's going to come up and tell you exactly what it found, what it repaired, what it removed, and everything like that. It gives you a full status report, so you can read that. Uh, it's in the notepad form, and you can also save it for later. Um, but there's going to be one more program that we are going to use to kind of clean up the PC and make sure that it's running at the optimum levels. And this is Microsoft Security Essentials. This is a free antivirus program uh, created by Microsoft for their computers. And you can also get this in the link in the description, guys. All these will be in the description. You guys can check those out below and download them from there. Um, but go ahead and uh, download and open Microsoft Security Essentials. I don't care about the theme. So pretty much with these scans, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to do a quick scan, a full scan, and a custom scan. I would highly advise you not to do a custom scan. Just do a quick or a full scan, depending on what or how much time you have. Um, if you're getting ready to go to lunch or something, go ahead and do a full scan. It should be ready by the time you get back, depending on how many files you do have. Um, but all you really have to do, guys, is under the scan options, select which one you want to do. Um, I'm just going to do a quick scan uh, as an example, and it'll tell you the time started, the time elapsed, uh, how many items it's scanned, and the item it is currently scanning. Um, it will start uh, more than likely in some kind of browser like Internet, Internet Explorer like it just did because this is where a lot of uh, malware and stuff can be found. So it does it pretty quickly. Uh, like I said, it all depends on how many files you have on your computer. If you have a lot, this could take um, hours. Uh, honestly, it kind of just varies um, from what you currently have on your computer. And I can't really tell you guys much else about this other than that if you have a lot of files on there, it's going to take a long time. Um, even for quick scans, it could take up to a few hours to do that. Um, so one last thing that I want to show you guys how to or what to do in the case of things going slowly um, in browsers sometimes things lurk in there such as bad browser extensions and things like, things like that uh, if you guys have ever downloaded anything you know there's an ask toolbar there is different kinds of search engines that kind of mimic Google um, but aren't really good and can actually kind of slow down your computer. So we are going to open Google Chrome since that is the most used internet browser. I know as of May 2016 over 70% of all users on the internet were using uh, Google Chrome of some kind. So we are going to go ahead and reset the browser to its default factory settings and this can be done very easily. Just go to the hamburger menu um, or now this is an outdated version. Uh, there is a like a three dot on the right side. Just go to settings and um, if you scroll down, you will see a button uh, that says advanced once this loads. Um, show advanced settings and scroll down and you can reset the settings and just hit reset. This will remove cookies, this will remove really anything, and this will make it so that there are no bad extensions. Uh, you can redo um, your home pages. That's something that I advise a lot of people to do. Just set it to Chrome um, or just set it to Google's home page um, or something that you know of. Don't Sometimes when you download things, it will automatically go to some weird uh, search engine website or whatever. Just go to set pages and remove all of them and add your own custom page like uh, google.com or something and just hit OK. And like I said, guys, this is one of the most used browsers. So there are going to be a lot of cool extensions that you can use. Try to stay away from those unless you know exactly what it's doing. And I would advise you guys highly to download Adblock. Uh, plus, this is something that is free for you to use. You will never have to look at an ad on YouTube. You will never have to look at an ad on Facebook or anything. It is adblockplus.org. It says surf the web without any annoying ads. I have this on every single computer I have, obvi obviously except this one. And I have never watched an ad for probably the past two or three years on this, Jeanette. Eh. 
it's just been absolutely awesome. Um, when I look at anybody's computer without ad block, I just tell them to get it on there. You could save so much time rather than watching 30 second ads. Um, and ads actually do slow down your computer a pretty good amount when loading web pages. It can slow down uh, how fast they load and everything because it's loading videos, it's loading photos, and things like that. So just hit install for Chrome. This is available for Firefox and IE as well, and all these other ones down here, Opera and whatever this is for Yandex uh, browser. Never heard of that one before, but install for Chrome. It's going to add it down here. It's some weird long string of numbers, and eventually it will add it automatically for you, and you will have a little stop sign in the top right-hand corner. That's how you know it is um, installed, and you guys can go ahead and get to work on that right now. Like it says, Adblock has been installed to Chrome. It'll open a few web pages just telling you it's been installed. Just close out of those and you guys are good to go. And if you're using Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, go ahead and open the browser. This is only used on about 5% of all machines, so you shouldn't have to worry about it if you're using Chrome, like I said. <clears throat> uh, go ahead and go to the settings cog, hit internet options, um, and once you are here, you can go to the advanced option and hit reset. Um, delete personal settings. I would uh, go ahead and hit reset, and it will delete... Um, setter or resetting user customizations, uh, default settings, uh, personal settings, uh, browser add-ons, things like that. But once you're done with that, you guys should be all good to go. Your complete, uh, your computer should be running pretty fast at this point. If it's not, you should look into upgrading some hardware, maybe your CPU, maybe just getting a new computer, uh, things like that. There are a few other things that I'll be going over in later videos that you can check out that could help speed up your computer. Uh, but primarily, if you're running with an old CPU, maybe an old motherboard, uh, DDR2 memory, even DDR1 memory, or Windows XP, uh, you are going to be running pretty slow, and I would highly suggest that you start looking into upgrading something. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, that you want me to do, uh, please leave a comment in the section below, and I will get to that video. I have resources. Um, I can take apart laptops. I can show you guys how to switch out hard drive data and things like that. So anything computer-related, let me know in the comments below. I know how to do phones. Uh, really anything. I'm a computer technician, so I know how to do a lot of stuff, and I would really love to show you guys. So... Uh, make sure you guys rate this video. I really hope it did help you. I know that a lot of people are having issues with slow computers and just want to get that cleaned up because that is something that's really annoying, uh, having a slow computer. Um, but like I said, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know some videos that you want to see in the uh, comments below. I have a lot of ideas already, but if you guys uh, want to see a video pronto or if you want to see a video that I haven't already had an idea for, please leave it in the comments. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. Leave it a thumbs down if you did not like this video and it did not help you. Uh, unfortunately, I can't help everybody, uh, but there are going to be a few scenarios where um, this won't help you uh, just because you may have some hardware issues or things like that, like I said. But if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as possible. Make sure you leave me some video suggestions. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and thanks for watching.